Trevor Case was called an innovator. He was called an irrepressible showman, feisty and friendly, and a charmer that sometimes could be a little crusty. He was called the Silver Fox and the father of the ACC. Everett Case is the stuff legends are made of. Before he died in 1966, he was to come in contact with some of the greatest names in the game, as you will see. Frankfurt's new gym, Howard Hall, was dedicated that year, the same year Case became the head coach. His 1924 hot dogs lost in the state finals to Martinsville, but his very next year, Frankfurt had its first state title with a win over Kokomo, 34-20. Dr. James Naismith, who's generally credited for inventing the game of basketball, was on hand that night to present the Hot Dogs their winning medals. Dogs advanced to the state finals the next year, 1928, but they lost to Martinsville. It's interesting to note Martinsville had a guard named Johnny Wooden. In 1929, the Silver Fox did it again. Frankfurt defeated Indianapolis Tech 29-23 to finish 25-3 and win the state title. They advanced again to the finals in 1930, but that team lost to Muncie Central. The following year, his club was 25-4. and four. Since coming to Frankfurt, Case had established a 219 win and 41 loss record. His teams had played in every state tourney since his arrival. But he then decided to go back home to Anderson. He coached there two years before he went to the University of Southern California. He finished his master's there and became an assistant coach to Sam Berry, whose son Rick was, of course, later an ABA and NBA star. Case yearned again for Hoosier hysteria and returned to Frankfurt. His second year back, his team won its third state title with perhaps what is called his best ever team. In 1936, the Dogs finished 29-9-1. and They topped Fort Wayne Central 50-24 for the state championship. By the way, you didn't hear the record wrong. The Dogs played a tie that year. December 22nd, 1935, at Indianapolis Tech, teams were deadlocked 31 all after two overtimes. Coaches Bain, Freeman, and Kay said it was enough and everybody went home. Right after that, the IHSA changed the rules so there no longer could be ties. 36 team is generally hailed as one of the greatest teams to ever win the state title. They retained that honor in many eyes until Oscar Robertson led Christmas Addicts to that same title in 1956. The history-making win came in 1939. The Dogs topped Franklin 36-32 to give Frankfurt its fourth state title. Case was the first coach to win four state championships at the same school. His final season was 1942. Frankfurt lost in the finals to Indianapolis, Washington, 42-32. The Hatchets, who later beat Muncie Central for the title, also lost their coach that year. He moved on to Lafayette. He was Marion Crawley. That was Case's history at Frankfurt, but his career continued. After two years in the military, he went to North Carolina State University. He brought Indiana-style running gun to the South. He spent 19 years at NC State and compiled a 377 win, 134 loss record. He won six Southern Conference crowns, four Atlantic Coast Conference crowns, and he was three times the ACC Coach of the Year. Case's final full year of coaching was 63-64. He tried coaching the next year, but quit after two games. He was losing a battle with cancer. When he quit, he handed the coaching reins over to Press Maravich, who was later to coach his son, Pistol Pete, at LSU. Case died April 30th, 1966, but he is still remembered. Each year, the most valuable player of the ACC postseason tournament has given the Everett Case Award. He was hailed as an innovator. His showmanship brought fans into the stands. Seven times at NC State, they led the nation in attendance. Probably a few people here can tell you how difficult it was to get tickets into Howard Hall during his years in Frankfurt. He is credited with innovations like introducing the starting lineup before games, cutting down the nets after a championship win, and he was the first to use game films to scout opponents. Case is a member of the North Carolina Basketball Hall of Fame, in 1968, he became a member of the Indiana High School Basketball Hall of Fame. The ultimate honor was May 3, 1982, when the National Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, enshrined a case. His records are legendary. His final high school, military, and college record was 902 wins, 263 losses, and one tie. His
Even his dying thoughts were of basketball. He was buried on a hill in Raleigh Memorial Park, overlooking US 30, which runs west to Durham. His choice of gravesite was like his game strategy, well planned. I want to be put there, Kay said, so when the boys go over to play Duke, they can wave to me. I'll wave back. Case did give back a lot. He divided his estate between 220 of his former players when he died. That includes a scholarship that he left that is still awarded today to a Frankfurt High School player each year. The coach may be gone, but tonight is the final honor. He's not forgotten as we rename this facility Case Arena. Thank you.